Hi there traders, this is Chris from Elite Currency with another video on the Euro Dollar and Pound Dollar. All right, the daily chart of the Euro Dollar, we have a bearish HMA, so momentum is certainly still down on this pair. And I think we see, we see a red fractal on the daily chart, by the way. So I think that a break of the low is likely at this moment. I think we will see continuation. Now, of course, there is some hesitation to break through this bottom. You can see some candles here, uh, not able to do that. But I wouldn't be surprised if today or tomorrow we do get that bearish break and we see price fall to 114.50, which is the 50 fib on the weekly chart, as I already showed in the last couple of videos. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see that break. We have momentum to the downside. We have overall downtrend. I think that this is probably going to be a wave four and down for wave five. Now, if price fails to break through the support this week, we might see kind of an expanded correction like this for an expanded wave four before we get that one last push wave five. And just in case you're wondering, this large move down was the wave three. So from this point of view, I think price is making a little bit of a triangle at this moment, but overall, I think pretty good spots or position for price to continue with a bearish breakout. We have fractals indicating uh, red diamonds, indicating downside continuation. We have the HMA indicating downtrend and uh, so I think that it's kind of like a, a consolidation pattern where we have momentum prior to it, right? Here we had momentum. We're seeing a kind of consolidation. And typically when that happens, momentum, consolidation, you get a break to the downside, specifically if it happens this week. If not this week, well, we'll have to see how next week, you know, the charts open. We'll reanalyze it at, at that point. If price breaks above the 21 EMA zone, uh, and specifically probably above about 116.50, then, you know, th something else is probably going on. Uh, in that case, um, you know, I'm not expecting the bearish breakout anymore. Uh, I think that, you know, I have arrows on this chart. So if I see a bullish arrow, which is basically momentum indicating uh, to the upside, then obviously I'm going to be more careful. Uh, if you don't have these arrows, then you can look for, for instance, maybe some shorter moving average that is pointing up, like the HMA up back up or something or uh, a I don't know a 13 EMA perhaps or 8 EMA if that's up of course be careful because then there could be a bigger correction to the upside I don't expect it but just in case uh, for the moment it's kind of making as long as it stays in this pattern below these 21 EMAs I think it uh, is just consolidating for a break to the downside and uh, we already had a breakout this morning you can see Price break below the 21 EMA, break below these fractals. So that could start a downside already. Let's see how it behaves. If it moves down, makes a consolidation, and then breaks the uh, support trend line and these fractals around 115.30, we could have a, a, a bigger breakout. Now the target is pretty close. I mean, we're looking at 114.50, uh, but 115 is a round level. Uh, so there's not a lot of space, but for intraday trading, it could still be okay. You could see, for instance, uh, maybe a pattern on a 50 minute chart, some flag like this uh after a break and a continuation or even uh, a potential of 115 50 breakout right below that there could be already a breakout correction and continuation not a lot of space but i do think that generally speaking the patterns are looking good for a breakout to the downside we'll of course uh, send an update on the weekend uh how the your dollar is looking at that point all right so let's move on and take a look at the pound dollar here we have daily chart already breaking below this 132.50 bottom i think it was or 132.25 ish or oh, 132 exactly actually so price below broke below that has good momentum this candle starting that bearish momentum we got follow through since that moment and on a four hour chart we're looking at uh engulf since the engulfing twins here basically price staying below the 21 ema so still looking good for downside now we do have uh, a big news event, the interest rate decision on the pound on Thursday. So it's not a pair that I'll be trading, uh, but just analyzing it. And I think that for the moment, downtrend continuation towards 130.75, 130 uh, are the main round levels to think about for the moment on this pound dollar. And um, down to the one hour chart, you can see that here too, pullback, pullback, pullback within the downtrend are you know pretty good moments to think about when you have a good downtrend. 21 EMAs on the one hour chart can offer some interesting pullbacks on the larger kind of uh, trend that you have here. So 
those were pullbacks they had some breakouts too along the way here and here and here uh right now actually but once again that happened already actually a few hours ago about 25 pips ago and we have the news event as well so i would not be trading that but i think a breakout maybe after the news event if depending on how price has moved for instance uh how far it has gone and then the retracement perhaps there could be maybe more downside remaining on the pound dollar uh downtrend all right but uh, 130 i think is definitely a level that is important it's a round level and i wouldn't expect more than more than that uh, today um so or maybe even this week actually so that's something to be aware of if you get any uh, bear flag for instance patterns that wouldn't be surprising considering the interest rate decision that's coming up and then of course the interest rate and all of the statements around it could send price both <clears throat> both ways so a lot of volatility could, could, could occur but just keep in mind that if you get a big spike up that or some spike up that uh, the overall trend is still down in my view so be careful of that i think if anything if you get more confirmation of downside that is more desirable unless prices hit 130 does you know of course that changes things but um that is probably you know still a pullback within the downtrend otherwise but the news event is is a event on its own you know so it's a it's a little bit difficult to factor that in how is it going to respond what kind of um price action do we see etc so we'll have a new update in any case on the pound dollar uh as well on the weekend and we'll take a look at the weekly and daily charts and, and the long term as well all right that was it uh, less to discuss than usual perhaps but still hope that this video helps in some ways uh, if, if it does would definitely appreciate your share like and subscribes of course and uh, above all wish you good trading more free analysis you can find at elitecurrency.com cheers